Greetings, class, and welcome. This is going to be our fifth segment uh, in the CYSA Plus class. And today we're going to be talking about um, reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. This is going to cover primarily the second domain of the CYSA Plus in vulnerability management. It's a short chapter today, so it won't take us too long. We do cover um, a couple of different concepts or different areas, domains, if you will. So we're going to look at vulnerability scanning methodology and analyzing the output from those vulnerability scans with different types of tools. So mapping and enumeration. So we're in the act of scanning or the active reconnaissance phase uh, of a pen test, right? So this is where we are going to look at um, or find different targets and then start enumerating what is on those targets based on uh, information that we gather. They are typically provided by information uh, gathered during uh, footprinting or maybe passive reconnaissance. Use, um, we'll use tools such as InMap, vulnerability scanners like Nessus, OpenVos, uh, Multego, et cetera, in order to find the services or find the applications that could potentially be vulnerable. Uh, now, this step does not involve exploitation. It just involves the identification of the services running on the assets that we have discovered. So here's a good example of a, map, a network mapping tool. I'm not sure which one this is. It could be Multego. It could be uh, Network Mapper. But basically, it has gone out and done like a ping sweep or some other type of uh, low-level scan, maybe like a uh, LAN scan or ARP scan, excuse me, uh, ARP scan, and found the different um, devices on the network. So the easiest way to do this is to ping a host. So pinging a network address is the most basic way to do this. It's very low level. Um, it sends out what we call an internet control message protocol packet. And if it finds that system, that system will respond. And when it communicates with us, it will send back um, replies. So the ping itself is an echo request. The reply is an echo reply. And that's great unless we turn it off. Um, and this is one of the first steps if you want to start really getting to the nitty gritty of securing your network. The downside is that, well, what if I'm a network engineer and I need to do some troubleshooting on the network? Something's not working right. A, a host is gone dark. Um, if I take this away, I have a hard time of diagnosing what the root cause of that issue could be. So it's hit and miss on where we um, turn uh, ICMP on and off. Port scanning um, is that kind of the next step. This is designed to send traffic to systems and query, well, what is on that system? What port is open? Is it running a, uh, a web page, a secure web page? Does it have a mail uh, system tied to it? Does it have a file transfer system tied to it? Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, it, are you able to SSH into it? What different TCP and UDP ports are open? And are they there for a reason or not? One of the most frequently used tools in gathering uh, this is going to be InMap. It's also the very first step that we use in active reconnaissance. So that's going to be with um, host discovery. Once we discover the host, we will scan its ports. We will then verify the version of the services and applications that are running. And if possible, try to nail down the operating system. And we can do that, this last step, by a deduction of the other three steps. So here's an output of a typical uh, in-map scan. So if you read the top line there, uh, each of these different switches are going to be for different things it wants to do. So dash capital O is going to be to fingerprint the operating system, for example. Okay, dash SS is means it's going to be doing a SYN scan. Uh, 
And it looks like we did it against one single device and it comes back with all of these open ports. That's a pretty, pretty healthy uh, system there. As of running a lot of stuff. So if we do the uh, dash little s capital V, we can use do uh, service and version identification uh, by grabbing banners or doing other types of um, methods. We can ascertain what version of software is running on a device. So we might be able to to determine what the version of IIS or Apache is running on a system. By comparing its response, we might be able to figure out different types of signatures um, of that application to, as to whether it is vulnerable or not. So here's a typical NMAP service scan. All right, and it picks up all these different ports and it provides the different version of each individual service. All right, so again, NMAP is probably the most commonly used port scanner out there. It provides a broad range of capabilities. Um, it's open source. You can write scripts for it. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with NMAP. It provides a plethora of information about a target, its operating system, for example, the different types of services, the service versions, and you can even run scripts uh, against it. You can make it run fast or slow. You can make it to where you can try to bypass intrusion prevention systems and firewalling. Uh, it's very robust. It's very granular. So here's a good, um, simple in-map scan where we just use in-map and the IP address. They're telling me that it's going against a Windows 10 system. It's really easy to tell that it is a Windows system because typically you're going to see um, Microsoft Distributed Services, it's running up BIOS, it has MS uh, RPC running on 135, right? Uh, so it's really easy to, it's, you know, uh, now I'm not saying that a Linux box can't run these services, and I have seen Linux boxes that do run these services, but, you know, you have a pretty good you know, chance, you know, 9 out of 10 chance that this is a Windows box. All right, some other tools. They go over um, angry IP scanner. So this is a front end GUI, which will do a uh, scan of a network. It leverages protocols such as ARP and ICMP. Multego, which is designed to build a relationship map between uh, systems. So it will try to ascertain the communication of not just uh, the identification of systems and what's on that system, but it will look at relationships between the systems. So is it communicating with uh, an Active Directory controller? Where is that Active Directory controller? Is it communicating via DNS? It can help you identify what the main where the main DNS server is located and other types of um, relations between, say, those servers. The Metasploit framework is a framework that is used within um, Linux systems. So you'll see it in offensive security OSs like Kali Linux or Parrot OS. It's a pen testing framework that is, it gives the pen tester the ability to use both commercial and open source uh, versions. Most commonly their open source version is what a lot of uh, basic pen testers use. It's very robust. Uh, it has a lot of tools uh, and sub tools under its hood, and it can be used to um, uh, not only re recon, but it can also be used to exploit. And last but not least, there's Recon NG, which is a module based reconnaissance tool, uh, primarily used for um, uh, open source intelligence, but you can also use it for other applications as well. Uh, it's a good way of passively finding uh, out information or semi-passively finding out information uh, about a target. So that is going to do it for this installment of the CYSA Plus on uh, Chapter 5, I believe, Reconnaissance and Intelligence Gathering. So uh, I'm Dr. Brown. Until next time, we will uh, 
see you then.